With another presidential election debate set for Friday here in the nation, the ruling bloc's candidate Lee Jae-myung called in related campaign members for an emergency meeting on Korea's response to the Ukraine crisis. Earlier in the day, he rallied for support in Chungcheongdo and then Gangwon-do province. Kim Do-yeon has the details. Ruling Democratic Party of Korea's presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung on Thursday showed deep regret over Russia's invasion of Ukraine, saying Ukraine's sovereignty has to be respected and that the international community should continue to try to work things out in a diplomatic manner. It's even more concerning because the crisis in Ukraine is beyond being just a regional conflict and could lead to a new Cold War. A new Cold War would have an impact on the peace status on our peninsula as well. Calling all related campaign members into an emergency meeting in the late afternoon, he also openly appealed to the government to keep the South Koreans still in Ukraine safe. In addition, he said work needs to be done to make sure the economic impact to Korean companies is kept to a minimum and that the war is not far away and peace is priority. In fact, Lee Jae-myung spent the earlier part of his day in Wonju of Gangwon-do, a province that is divided into two as part of it is in North Korea. It was the perfect place for him to continue to reiterate his claims that he's the one to maintain peace on the peninsula. As Gangwon-do province has been pushing to become a special self-governing province, Lee Jae-myung pledged he would complete the process and make the province the forefront for peace between the south and north. Also while on the campaign trail, with the deadline approaching for the two key rival opposition candidates to form a merger, candidate E called for political reform. This is old politics, politics with only two choices. We need a third choice. This could be a scary proposition for the two largest political parties. Earlier on Thursday morning, the chairman of the party's Hong young gil vowed for electoral reform and a constitutional revision and called for other parties to work together. He said a parliamentary special committee for reform will be launched as soon as the presidential election is over. Plans as of now include a new system whereby the ruling and opposition parties would jointly recommend a candidate for prime minister, as well as making it possible to have two four-year terms in office as president instead of just one five-year term. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.